All right, so for today, we're gonna to be going over question two of homework eight. Um, so taking a look at this question, um, basically we have a set of five points. So um, I is an integer from one through five, one, two, three, four, five. And for that, so because of that, we have a set of five points that have integer values for the coordinate points. And we wanna show that there's two, uh, uh, two points that have a midpoint with integer values as well for the coordinate points. And so this, uh, this question has to connect with the pigeonhole principle. So I guess we should start by defining what the pigeonhole principle even is, All right? So basically what we're trying to say is that, well, let's consider a set of elements. So with, with n elements in a set, um, as long as there are, let's say, m categories, as long as, there, as long as the number of elements in a set is greater than m categories, um, we can say that there has to be a category that has at least two elements in that category. All right, so basically what we're trying to prove here, since we have five elements in a set, right, we want to show that m is equal to like four or anything less than that. We want to show some number of categories so that we have pigeons and we have holes, and because pigeons are greater than holes, that basically there exists a hole with multiple pigeons, like with two pigeons. Right. And so in order for that, we need to start by considering what a midpoint even is. So let's say we have x1, y1, x2, and y2. So, in, so with two points, um, the midpoint, we can talk about the midpoint formula as like, we can define that as x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. All right. And so with two coordinate points, this is the midpoint formula that tells us the midpoint. And so we're saying that there, are, um, there is an x1 plus x2 divided by 2 that gives us an integer value because we're looking for a coordinate point um, with integer values. And so in order for a number to divide by 2 to give us an integer value, um, that means that x1 plus x2 has to be even, right? Um, because an odd number divided by 2 cannot possibly be an integer. So x1 plus x2 is even. Similarly with y1 plus y2 is also even. And so with two numbers that um, when you sum them equals an even number, there's only two cases, right? If x1 and x2 are both even, um, then, then their sum is even. But another case, um, which is that both x1 and x2 are odd, we also get another even number as well. So odd plus odd gives us even, and then a even plus even gives us an even number. So we're basically saying that x1 and x2 have to share the same parity. Either both of them are even or both of them are odd. Similarly, y1 and y2, in order for that to be an even number as well, y1 and y2 have to share the same parity, where both of them are even or both of them are odd. So with this question, we're basically taking a look at the parities of our coordinate points, right? And so what we're trying to do is, what we're trying to consider the cases in which a coordinate point can fall under for parities, right? And so since each coordinate point has two values, an x and a y, and each um, value can have two options, either odd or even, two times two is four, so we have four cases a coordinate point can fall under. All right, so with four holes, right, we're trying considering four categories that a coordinate point could fall under. One is that, you know, X and Y could both be even, 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 or maybe X and Y are both odd, odd and odd, or maybe X is even and Y is odd, or maybe X is odd, and y would be even. So in that case, we have four holes, four categories. And since the question tells us that we basically have a set of five points, let's consider what the um, worst case scenario is. The worst case scenario is that with five points, um, maybe each point falls into one of each category. So that means with four points, we can fill up four categories, which is the worst case scenario. So the fifth um, integer, uh, fifth um, integer point the fifth point could would fall half would have to fall under one of these four categories, right? Um, because we have a set of five elements, which is greater than the number of categories. So with that, um, because of the pigeonhole principle, since the number of elements is greater than the number of categories, the number of holes we have, there exists two points that share the exact same parities, where the fifth point has to be either here, 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 or here. So what that means is since two points must share the same parities, there has to be a midpoint with integer coordinates as well. 